Welcome. We are Exotic PC, uh, exoticpc.com. We are an online custom gaming laptop builder and reseller. And what we're doing for you today is we are doing a graphics card comparison. Now, as you can see in front of you, we have two identical laptops. These are Sager MP9150s. Uh, the 9150 has been out since about the end of April. And on the laptop on the left, this is a mostly stock 9150. And then on the right, this is a basically built to the extreme 9150. And we'll show you the side-by-side -side specs uh, here on your screen in just a second. Now on the left, the stock 9150 comes with the NVIDIA GTX uh, 670M graphics card, uh, 1.5 gigabytes of video RAM with Optimus. It also has that uh, Ivy Bridge third generation i7-3610 quad mobile processor in it. Now on the 9150 on the right, this one has the new AMD 7970 graphics card in it and it also has the i7-3920 Extreme processor in it. So what we're going to be doing today um, is showing you some benchmark scores um, of each and comparing those side by side and we're also going to be doing some live gameplay of Battlefield 3 and showing you the those graphics from each system side by side uh, which we've pre-recorded on Fraps. Doing some other different comparisons of the graphics cards uh, lately there's been a lot of online talk about the 7970 coming out, especially on the Sagers. You can get it on this here 9150. Uh, you can also get it on the 9170, which is the 17.3 inch version uh, from Sager. Uh, so we thank you for joining us today. Uh, we, we hope you like this video. It's something different that we've never done before, uh, but we really wanted to highlight and showcase uh, this new 7970 uh, from AMD and then compare it to basically the stock configuration um, on this 9150 there on the left. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, just breaking down uh, the configurations of each, uh, which we'll show you on your screen here so you can get a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, the left one we had mentioned is the stock CPU i7-3610 quad mobile, that third generation Ivy Bridge. Uh, we also have the stock GPU in there which is the NVIDIA GTX 670M. Uh, for RAM, it does have 12 gigabytes of RAM, uh, 1600 megahertz. The stock only comes with 8 gigabytes, 1600 megahertz. Uh, it does have the stock um, optical drive and hard drive in there. And it also has a, a 40 gigabyte Intel mSATA drive. Now, we're not going to get too much into mSATA drives in this video. If you watch our previous uh, video review of the 9150, uh, we do discuss, you know, mSATA drives and that a little bit um, and its advantages of having that. Now on the right, this is the pretty much max configured 9150. Uh, it does have that i7-3920 Extreme processor in it, uh, the third generation Ivy Bridge as well. For graphics cards, uh, or excuse me, graphics card, uh, singular, this does have the AMD 7970M in it, which is sort of the reason that we're doing this video for you today is to highlight that graphics card and really compare it to its stock, uh, con excuse me, stock graphics card on the 9150, which is at 670M from NVIDIA. Uh, for RAM, 16 uh, gigabytes, 1600 megahertz. You can go up to 32 gigabytes if you like. For hard drive, it does have an upgraded Intel 520 series SSD in it and it just has a stock optical drive. So that's just a basic uh, rundown, which you saw on your screen there, of the uh, configurations of each of these systems side by side. Okay, we just wanted to show you the system BIOS really quick. Uh, we're not going to get too in-depth uh, on the system BIOS on this 9150. You can, however, watch our 9150 in-depth video review, which is lower on our YouTube page, and, and we discuss more what the system BIOS does in there. Uh, we basically just wanted to show you this so you, I guess, more or less believed us when we said what was in it. Uh, this left one, as you can see, has that NVIDIA GTX 670 in it. It does have the stock hard drive, but it also has that M, uh, excuse me, MSATA Intel uh, drive in there as well. And then over here on the left, uh, this is sort of the max configured a 9150. It does have that 16 gigabytes 
um, of RAM and then it also has that AMD Radeon 7970M in it as well. Uh, another thing to note, this does have the Intel 120GB SSD in it and having an SSD is really going to uh, give you a lot more performance out of your system so we went ahead and installed that on this system as well. Okay, the first benchmark score we're going to show you here, this is the stock 9150. This is at 670M in it, and then this is also that uh, stock i7-3610. Now we're seeing a score of 13,700-ish, which is a really great score. Um, looking back at last model season of the 8130, originally that came with a 460M in it, and we're seeing scores of about 7,700. And so this... Uh, 3D Mark Vantage score is actually nearly double uh, what we're seeing with the 460, so that's uh, that's really impressive. Now swinging over uh, to the right here, this is the uh, AMD 7970, uh, but keep in mind this also is the upgraded CPU to that 3920 Extreme Edition. Now that is probably the highest 3D Mark Vantage score I've ever seen on a laptop. Uh, we're hitting 21,500, which in my opinion is just phenomenal. Uh, if you get the choice, I honestly would upgrade to the 7970. Uh, I believe Sager is asking around $200 uh, for that upgrade at this time. And if you're looking at um, about 8,000 points uh, difference between those graphics cards, Going back to the stock score, uh, we're seeing 13,700, and on the AMD score, we're seeing uh, 21,500. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll show you an overclock score. Uh, this again is at stock 9150. And we got uh, about 2,200 more points um, on the overall score, which is good. Uh, that's a really nice overclock. Uh, usually if you can uh, overclock any of these 600 series graphics cards by 2,000 points or more, um, that's really good. Now going over uh, to the AMD uh, 7970 graphics card, uh, what we found uh, using the MSI Afterburner, we are using the 2.2.1, which is the latest Afterburner from MSI. Uh, this card actually comes uh, maxed out meaning that uh, MSI hasn't released a newer edition of the Afterburner to overclock uh, this AMD 7970. So we actually at this time weren't able to overclock it. It was already uh, maxed out on that 221 Afterburner from MSI. So hopefully that gives you uh, a little side-by-side -side comparison of the 3D Mark Vantage scores that we got. Uh, for temps, we'll discuss those here uh, really quick for you. Temps on this uh, 670, uh, we're seeing at 80 degrees. And then temps on the 7970, we're seeing at 84 degrees Celsius. So hopefully that gives you um, a little bit perspective of, you know, the temps and, and what sort of 3D Mark Vantage scores you could see. Uh, the 670 card, uh, we felt we got a nice overclock with it. It wasn't a max overclock. Um, in our opinion, it was, you know, a, a safe uh, CPU and GPU overclock. And then with that 7970, um, if you wanted to use MSI Afterburner, which is what we generally use to overclock, uh, we really like its uh, interface and its functionality. Uh, MSI hasn't released a newer version uh, of its Afterburner to overclock that 7970. Okay, the next thing uh, that we're going to show you, and it'll probably be the last thing uh, in this GPU CPU comparison video is we're actually going to show you some uh, Battlefield 3 scenes and comparing them side by side and, and, and honestly it's probably to me the highlight of this video. Uh, we chose Battlefield 3 uh, because we feel it's probably one of the most popular games that's been out uh, in the last about eight months. Uh, Diablo 3 has been out, Skyrim has been out. Uh, we do get a lot of inquiries um, you know about frames per second on those games and we usually don't test games too too often on systems but we wanted to show you uh, what Battlefield 3 looked like on the stock 9150 with the stock CPU and GPU 
And then also on the uh, upgraded 9150 that has that extreme processor in it, as well as the new AMD 7970. And thank you for joining us today on this GPU comparison, uh, comparing the stock 9150 to a more uh, con highly configured 9150 that has that new AMD graphics card in it. There's just been so much online chatter and talk about the 7970 that we really wanted to try to give you some you know, comparative analysis uh, so you could make some opinions and, and judgments for yourself. Uh, again, this is a new uh, sort of video that we've done. Uh, we're going to continue to do these videos. If you have any video ideas for us, uh, definitely leave those below in the comments box. Uh, we check those multiple times a day, try to give as much feedback as we can as possible. Uh, so let us know what you think of this video. And of course, go on to our website, uh, which is uh, exoticpc.com. That's www.xoticpc.com. And check out this 9150 from Sager that has that new AMD 7970M in it. Uh, thank you again for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video.